Good evening, my friends. Happy Monday, and welcome back to the next episode of Day of the Tentacle. Now, we finished last episode with, well, several open threads, um, but a little bit stuck. So I, sa I said uh, to the YouTube comment section, feel free to leave a hint in the, dis uh, in the chat. And I got one hint. So here's the hint. Regarding finding a participant to enter for the human contest, remember that the tentacles aren't very adept at recognizing humans. Maybe something quite human-like will suffice. That comes from Raw McRip Helmet. Um, now, he then also reminds me, because, I don't know, I, I think we've got a lamp, but mm, not so sure, not so sure. And he said, well, Blue Tentacle gave you a name tag for your contestant. Who or what would look handsome with that name tag? Well, that's something that we're going to have to have a real think about. So, we've got a name tag here. The name tag goes through time. That's a good thing to establish. But what could it be that we are hoping to attach this to? Now we can't get back into the kennel. Right, because we're disguised as a tentacle now. Dark flow in the well, chat. Hey, now, hey. Tentacle, what have you got to report? I found the piece you needed, sir. <gasps> Excellent. The human race shall soon be as puny as their intellects. Have the prisoners been keeping intellects as pets again? I'll have to reprimand them. <laughs> That's insects, you buffoon. Anyway, we have more important things to think about. I once read that humans were descended from buffoons. That's... never mind. I need your help with another matter. Come closer. I'm about to reveal my master plan. Ah, oh, thank you very much for the seven-month prime reset, Dark Flow. Excellent. Hey Darkflow, how are you doing? Happy Monday, I hope you're having a great week. Thank you very much for the Prime Resub. Seven months, seven months. Ah, that very much deserves a hype in the chat. Um, so... We've had one hint, we've had one hint, which is... Where could this name tag go? And the only thing I can think of, really is the human-shaped lamp up these stairs. But, if you have a hint for us, I think it is an appropriate time to receive one, potentially. Uh, so it could be, oh, do you know what? It could be the mummy. You're ready to go now. Ah. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. I would, but who would see it? Can we pick up the mummy He's now? He's too heavy to carry. Hmm. You don't think I need one? Okay. Maybe I now just go back to the blue tentacle. No, I need to get him into the lobby. The blue tentacle was pretty clear with his instructions. He was like, go and attach this to your human and get him to wait in the lobby. He's too heavy to drag. Too heavy to drag. He's too heavy to drag. Oh, roller skates. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. We'll just take out the competition. Uh, it's an honor just to compete. Enter the human contest. Everyone's raring to go. Let's go. 
Let's get this show on the road. Ah, here it comes. My finest hour. Okay. So now, do we need to put the laugh box, the hair on him and so on? We need to we need to win this competition. Excellent. Oops, sorry. Just hit my mic there. Soggy noodles. Right. Now I also need to get best smile somehow as well. Best smile. That would get us disqualified. <coughs> Excuse me. smile. Do I need the teeth from the horse? And so I said to her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> you think that's funny? Listen to this. Can we talk to the judges? Aha. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right. Right, you can go and trigger them to do the judging. Harold's got some amazing hair. The mummies has improved. Yes, but it's dull, flat, stringy, lacks body and control, whereas Harold's flows and bounces with every <laughs> subtle turn of his head. Yes, Harold wins. If only the mummies was a little bit better. Oh, the Agreed. hair's not good enough. But I can I can just keep trying until I win. Unlike a real competition. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best laughing? <laughs> oh, alright. Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore, and boy are my suction cups tired. <laughs> Is that a joke? Oh, classic. <laughs> I think our mummy friend picked up a sense of humor somewhere. Yes, but Harold still tops him. Really? Oh, of course, Harold wins hands down. But if it weren't for Harold, I'd let the mummy have it. Right, we've got to get Harold Agreed. out of this competition somehow. <gasps> Fake bath. We'll, we'll get Harold to, like, throw up on himself. Because she literally said that'll get us disqualified. Oh, Harold, that's gross. What are you babbling about? You really should have told the judges if you weren't feeling well. Yeah, get out of here, hey, Harold. Ick. Now, how did that mess get in there? I think I'm going to be sick. Someone in here not feeling well? I was feeling fine until I saw that. Is that your regurgitation? No, I'm an healthy human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? That's just a figure of speech. <laughs> Do you realize you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? But I just got all my shots. You're a good-looking human, Harold, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. <laughs> What a mess. I'm sure there's like a trampoline I underneath hate the floor there. Up up with humans. Okay. So that that is gonna be enough for, for hair and laugh. Smile though, that's gonna be that's gonna be a tricky one. What else can we talk? Anybody care for a bribe? Nice. Anybody care for a bribe? What do you think we are, human? Ha ha ha! Human. <laughs> kind of got us there, really. 
Hey, don't you think you should judge best laugh again? Oh, all right. Okay, who's got a joke? I know. Why did the human cross the road? Because his tentacle owner told him to. <laughs> It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. <laughs> I say we give him first place. Agreed. Okay, one down. So let's do hey, best hair don't again. You think you should judge best, best hair smile, again? Though. Oh, all right. Is it gonna be the horse? I don't think it will be getting the dentures off George Washington. Oh, Mama's has improved. Yes, but it's dull, flat, stringy, lacks body and control. A human's hair should stand up, not stand out. If only it was a little bit better. Right, okay, so getting Harold out is not enough to win it for us. Oh, can we use the fork? Okay, right. Best hey, hair again, don't please. You think you should judge best hair again? Oh, all right. Wow, that's the best hair I've ever seen on a mummy. Thick and full and juicy. The mummy wins. And meaty. Agreed. Okay, so let's see what they say hey, about best smile, because this might give us a hint smile. of an answer. Oh, all right. Not a bad set of chompers on that blonde. Mm -hmm. If Harold's not competing, I don't care who wins. Eh, me either. Right. Yeah, okay. Keep up the good work, you judges, you. I could never do that to someone as shy and sensitive <laughs> as my friend here. I'm just thinking in terms of, like, you know, drawing a smile on him. No, I like it that color. Uh, okay, well, it's not going to be fork. Doubt it's going to be gum. Uh, oh, ink. Let's try it. Get it? That's the spirit, Mr. Mummy. I don't quite get it, to be honest. Get it? <laughs> That's the spirit, Mr. Mummy. Outfit. Let's see if there's anything down the stairs that could be a thing. No, okay, well this is all reset how it was, it's just there aren't the humans here anymore. Hmm. Uh, 
Okay. Let's try talking to the horse again. There must be something to do with the horse. The horse soaks his dentures in here. Yeah, the horse has dentures, like... Oh, hi. hi there. Still trying to get back to the future? <laughs> Laughed at by a horse. Whoa. Can we open? Mm. I can't open it. I don't think I want this. How would we? Can we use the brush? I don't want. No. Okay. Is there anything that the horse would like? Gum? Would the horse like the chewing gum, do you think? I don't wanna. No, hmm, okay. It's got Fred opening the safe on it. I wonder if the videotape does anything else. So we can't we can't send the crowbar to another time period. I don't think I can put that in the chronojohn. Sending something into the future via the ice machine seems like a very sensible thing to do. I can't use though. a videotape with that. Hmm, I don't know. It's powerful stuff. I'd rather not. I'm sorry to do this to you, we little can, fella, but it's for the future of the whole put planet. The hamster in the ice box. Oh wow, he proper smashed it in there as well. Okay, so close that up. So that gives us a definite thing we can go and pick up. So we can go and have the hamster. The hamster's not going to win us best smile, though. So what's it going to do? Might tempt the cat down. Hmm, looks like there's some kind of rodent down there. Frozen hamster. Right, uh, to the microwave? Uh, this one's a tricky one, you'll give me that for sure. Uh, this one being the best smile, being the tricky one. Microwave the frozen hamster. Don't try this at home. Is the name of the achievement. Gosh, I hope this isn't like the primitive, dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Those yeah. things could really pop a hamster good. My aunt uh, uh -oh. refused to ever have a microwave in her house. Oh, he's got a little. Oh, he's got a little smoke coming off his head. That was fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. You see, kids who put hamsters in <laughs> microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. <laughs> so don't do it. I'm glad the game is being very clear for its audience about what is and is not appropriate behavior towards hamsters. He still hamsters. looks really cold. Hmm. How can we warm the hamster up, do you reckon? Nah. No, okay. Maybe uh, out in the sun will warm him up a little bit. Excuse me. Hmm. So what's the hamster for? Well, uh, whatever your name is, how goes our secret plan? Hmm. Just fine, sir. 
Ah, excellent. Put the sweater on, maybe. <laughs> Pass him off as a tiny human. Where is the sweater? This ought to warm him up. Oh, he's now a toasty warm hamster. Okay. <sighs> the hamster's not going to be able to open the top nah. capsule, surely. Hmm, how decorative. It's a dented old can. I can't do it with my bare hands. She can't do it with her bare hands. I don't think that will open it. Hmm. Take that. Nobody I know. Hmm. Look out the window, it's maybe. It's sunny out. <sighs> the clues to opening the time capsule are, are, are very Do you broad, mind? aren't You're they? disrupting my concentration. Nah. <laughs> At least he hasn't conquered Antarctica yet. According to these, the tentacles control most of the world already. Hmm. Nah. Okay. Can I use the hamster with the contestants? Nah. No. It's either I've got to get rid of all of these guys to win by default, or... Yeah, I don't know. Get, get a smile onto the mummy. Which I'd have thought would be ink. I suppose could be the white paint. But if it was something that obvious, I'm sure Dark Flow, you wouldn't have said that it's uh, I don't that think complicated. That would look better white. Hmm. <sighs> what does the hamster in the sweater give me, though? Nah. Maybe back in the kennel. Oh, this chap has gone entirely. I'm pretty sure this guy needs the... Because he's talking about wanting to have a gift card for the for the um, restaurant. So that's why I'm trying to win the human competition. So I'm pretty sure giving him a hamster is not going to do anything. Nah. And the hamster himself can't... I don't think I can put yeah. that in the chronogon. The hamster can't move time periods. I don't wanna. Hmm. I wonder if it's like a timing thing.
First time chatter, Dagger Steve, how am I finding the game? It's good! It's good. It's quite funny. Um, we are up to the human um, the the human competition. We've got best hair, we've got best laugh, and now I'm trying to think of best smile. Um, oh, Justy303 in the chat as well. Good evening to you. Good evening to you. Um, yeah, you know, I'm enjoying the game. The, um, the logic is not too out there in place. Like, in places, it's a little bit... Oh. <laughs> but broadly speaking, we've been doing okay. We've been doing okay. We've had a couple of hints down the road, though. Um, yeah. One of your all-time favourites. Oh, excellent. Oh, that's great. That's great. We love... Uh, puzzle games on this channel. We love hard puzzle games on this channel, and um, at the moment we're having a bit of a 90s retro vibe, right? We've recently played Riven, we're working our way through the rest of the Mist series. Um, it seems like I might have literally just disconnected. No, looks like I'm still here. Um, yeah, we've recently played Riven, we've recently played, uh, we're playing through the rest of the Mist series. Uh, we're working through Obsidian from 1997 at the moment. Uh, my hope is to play some Star Trek A Final Unity if I can get the uh, <laughs> copyright issues sorted with, with episode one. Um, but yeah, so that's... But, uh, but yeah, we're, we're, we're on a bit of a retro vibe at the moment. Uh, Darkflow says, you know, I've always seen point and clicks as something pretty different as like The Witness or Cocoon in terms of its puzzles, but actually think about thinking about it the way you would solving them makes them a lot easier, I say. I hope this makes sense. Thinking about it the way, way you would solving those. I'm not sure I do fully get what you mean, Darkflow, but... <laughs> Um, I mean, I think, sort of, on a fundamental basis, it's kind of similar to something like Mist and Riven and so on, where you're, you're trying to put yourself into the mind of the designer, and you're trying to sort of understand what the game is pointing you towards trying to do, and you know, and kind of making that supposition that when you see something like an ice box, that the ice box is going to be used for something, you know? Um, adventure games obviously have a slightly more wonky logic to them. Although that's something I quite enjoyed with Obsidian. It's not quite adventure game logic, but it's the whole thing is sort of set in a dream. So it operates on dream logic, which is kind of similar, <laughs> like realistically, but um, but it's a different way to justify the slightly wonky adventure game logic whilst also being able to play it straight, right? Be able to play it deadpan. Uh, you think it gets away with the puzzle logic as it fits into the game world. You don't believe there are any puzzles that are unfair. No, I don't think we've come across anything unfair yet. Um, you mean thinking about the puzzles in this game the same way you were trying to solve more traditional puzzle games? Yeah, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. <laughs> I mean, the fact that it's a game which still has a, a real... Um, you know, a real cult following. Oof, what are we now? 25 years later? You know, it's clearly got staying power, right? I mean, like, Day of the Tentacle probably is like, after Monkey Island, it's probably like number two in terms of adventure games that people cite and reference and talk about. Like, I mean, there's a couple which people argue are like better, like, um, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, which we've also not played yet. Um, but I don't think as many people played that game, 
in honesty. Like, I certainly don't see as much merch on uh, Redbubble about it, but maybe that's just because uh, Indiana Jones is a little bit more litigious about that sort of thing. Okay, right. Where are we? We need best smile, right? We need to get this toy off this cat, which I presume will get the skunk cat off the roof once we send it to the future, which will get the... Ah, oh, but that won't scatter the humans anymore. So how are we going to get the human catcher to run off after a human? Because at the moment he's guarding the clock and I assumed it was we would get a skunk into that room and they would run off. Maybe that has to be after the human competition. Maybe. But we need this squeaky toy, clearly. For best smile, I figure it's got to be something to do with the horse. Because we've already used the, uh, the trick dentures with George Washington, and I don't think we're going to use those a second time. Sorry, I just hit my mic again. And we don't have... We've not used the horse for anything. Um, the other big thread is uh, is this book. Uh, not that book. This book. We need to condense this and waterproof it somehow. Which maybe we hit it with the shrinking ray? Maybe. I don't know. Ah, oh, Grim Fandango. Yes, yes. <coughs> um, yeah, uh, people talk about Grim Fandango as well. Yeah, I've certainly heard of that. Um, again, never played it. Uh, I've never played any of these games. These are these are all blind. I have played... Oh, so Monkey Island, I've sort of uh, on and off, like... I've played maybe half of the first game about 10... 15 years ago, when it got re-released for the PlayStation 3. So, that would be like a half-blind playthrough, because I have played I have played through like half of it 15 years ago before. I did also play the original Secret of Monkey Island on the original PC around my friend's house 25 years ago, but I really don't remember very much of that, and we didn't get very far at all. Um... And I played about half of Monkey Island 4, which was actually the second one I played after playing the one around my friend's house, because I had that on my old Macintosh. And um, I don't know when that was released, but that was also... That's also a pretty old one. That was like some pretty rough 3D graphics, you know? Benjamin Franklin asks this textbook to be waterproof and lightweight. Yeah. Um, so that's why I'm thinking it needs to be waterproofed. Hmm. I'm wondering... I mean, the shrinking ray hasn't been completed. When induction elements have Ooh. NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Don't torment me. I'm a powerful tentacle. I could have you served on a bed of rice. Okay. My secret weapon is almost ready. Okay. Thermodynamic flux induction circuit design is perhaps the most fascinating branch of practical electrical theory. Don't torment me. I'm a huh. powerful tentacle. I could have you served on a bed of rice. Okay. Uh, the can opener we've also not used on anything either. We've literally found no cans in this entire game. We've used the fork, we've used the red paint, we've used the Boo Boo Be Gone. We've used the scalpel to get rid of Boo Hoo the Clown. The textbook needs to go to Franklin. The can opener we've not used. The funnel we used for the coffee. The toasty warm hamster we've not used. 
And I don't think we've used the disappearing ink either. How close are we to needing a hint, do you guys reckon? These games are a massive part of your childhood. You used to jiggle around with sound blaster settings to get the sounds and voices working. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm fully, like... Having tried to get Star Trek A Final Unity working on DOSBox, um, because that doesn't have a Steam release, it's... It's made me have a whole new level of appreciation for modern PC gaming versus old PC gaming. I mean, I remember, you know, having to fiddle around with sound cards and stuff, but it, it wasn't until actually trying to f mess about with DOSBox to get that game working that I was like, oh man, yeah. PC gaming back in the 90s was rough. I remember why I swapped to consoles when the, when the PlayStation came out, you know. Um... Hmm. I don't think there's very much for us to do in the modern in the modern day, right? In the present day. Because really the only things left here uh well we've got the diamonds, so I don't think we have anything else. You think you can give me a bit of help that wouldn't give me any hints on anything, but would steer me towards how you can find the answer myself if needed. That sounds like an ideal level of hinting, to be honest. Um, yeah, because we've, we've had the sweater. We've talked to Green Tentacle plenty of times. Yeah, that's the sweater. Oh yeah, this room that has got the mouse hole in it. How long did it take me to find the keys in the back of the door? Well, um... <laughs> we had the advantage that we've played Riven fairly recently. So, um, yeah... But on the other hand, wait, is that a hint, Dagger Steve? Do I need to check more? Do I need to check behind more doors? <laughs> um, but yeah, how long did it take? I don't know. Yeah, we've got the crowbar. I really want to send the crowbar to the future to help um, open up this time capsule. But uh, but that's not going to work. And we can't open the ice machine because the hamster's in there. Well, I mean... Oh, we could create a time paradox it's by... It's pretty uh... darn cold. No, we can't pick up the hamster in there. I'm not so sure that's a good idea. What you'd suggest is thinking about the items I have and the elements I can interact with, starting with the ones that still haven't been used. You can then think about what they are, what their use could be, what they're usually there for, and how they'd interact with other elements. Interesting. Let me have a think there. So... What haven't we used so far? Well, we haven't used the textbook and the can opener. I'd rather not. No, no. I was thinking, can we? Can we just cut the uh, the hardback cover off it? So we've not used the textbook and the can opener. We've not used the toasty warm hamster, and I don't think we've used the disappearing ink. I've already been doing it a lot for sure. You hope that can help me think about certain elements a bit more than I already have. Okay. Let's 
So we've got the brush and the bucket. We could put the gum on the brush? I don't want to. No. Wait. Okay, let's bring everything let's bring everything over to the, to a single person so I can see it all in one place. I don't place. think I could put that in the Chrono giant. Fine. And I don't think any of these that might mess up the tape. Yeah, fine. I don't Crowbar think I can put can't that go in. The I don't future. think I can put that in Coffee the Chrono giant. In the future. Okay. <laughs> I think you've just given how to approach every point and click adventure game. Ah, yeah, I mean you're not wrong. <laughs> Um Okay, the brush and the soapy water we've used. The lighter we've used. The hammer we've used, the gum we've not used. The gum we've certainly not used. I mean Giving the gum. Can I give the gum? I don't think no. so. <laughs> Thinking about the puzzles in this game and trying to reverse engineer how you'd solve them usually made me realize how logical they actually were. Yeah, well, after a fashion. Okay. I feel like we've got to get the dentures off the horse, right? That's got to be that's got to be part of the point. So let's, so, oh, fl flush 50 objects through time for the master plumber achievement. So let's get everything over to Hoagie. So everything's going to go except the hamster. Yeah, it's got to be horse related. Meanwhile, are you sure we don't need to add anything about hideous, slimy, super intelligent tentacles? Don't be absurd. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if you are going to craft a document that's going to last all time, it would have been incredibly forward thinking to stipulate that the president has to be a human, for example, right? Um, I feel like... Because for me, putting the gum on the brush and then trying want. to brush the horse... Right? I don't want to. Because horses love a brush. I don't want to. Do you reckon the gum would work with the cat? What's he going to be if he's not human? Well, that's the thing, right? I mean, like, you know, people in 1776 never heard of... mummies or vampires? I don't know. I, I, don't, I actually have no idea what they were worried about back in those days. But, um, you know... I don't know, did ghosts exist back then? It feels like one of those things where, I mean, I suppose maybe they just didn't think it would ever be a problem. Nonsense. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's like, um, so I found out today, you know, question about sort of forward thinking and so on. I found out today about, um, the Onion Futures Act, right? Where basically it was this guy in the 50s. He was he was an onion farmer, 
and he decided he was going to corner the market on onions and so basically he was buying futures contracts to purchase onions um, and it got to the point where he had 98% of the nation's supply of onions, right? Um, and because he did it all by buying futures contracts, no one had spotted the fact that one person was just trying to corner the market in onions. Then what he did was he bought a load of puts and then released all of his onions to the market, right? So massive, massive um, market manipulation, of course. So what they did was they passed a law basically saying that you can't buy futures contracts on onions. And, that, and it's called something like the Onion Futures Act of 1952 or something. And I heard that story today and I was like, yes, because the takeaway from that story is it was the onions that was the problem. Right, got it. <laughs> Okay. There's many layers to that onion story. Hey, very good, very good. You can you can have a uh, you can have a a, a laughy emoji for that one. <laughs> um, yes, just on onions. You can buy futures contracts. In fact, what it's actually done is it's 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 hurt onion farmers because onion farmers now can't enter the futures market to be able to um, uh, guarantee the price of the onions that they're trying to sell, which is really inconvenient for a lot of them. But yeah, you can buy futures on um, corn and beef and all sorts of things. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if there's actually a futures market on cheese. There certainly is on cattle. Um, but yeah, it's in, it's it's an interesting it's an interesting uh, industry, for sure. Commodities, commodities markets. Um, gum. I was going to try and use the gum with the cat. I don't wanna. Or gum with the mouse toy. I don't wanna. No. Get the cat stuck to the mouse toy? Possibly not. And we're not gonna try and brush wanna. the cat. See, I was thinking a, bo uh, a bucket of water wanna. over the cat would definitely get rid of the cat, but, like, that's not... That's not cricket, apparently. Um... So I'm kind of taking from your clue that I do have the items that I need to solve the problem and that it relates to an item that I've not used yet. I mean, I'm assuming it's not something as dark as just using the can opener on the mummy. I'd rather not. No. See, because when I tried the scalpel, I thought, oh yeah, no, we'll just like cut a little smile into his little bandages or whatever. No. Okay, back to Hoagie with the, uh, with those. We don't have the rope available anymore. The other, the other thing that's really getting me thinking is... The pulley. It's one of those pulley things. Because the pulley exists in all three time zones, and we haven't... We've only used it in the present day to get the... to get Fred out from under the IRS. Hmm. It's blocked up with somebody's bed. Hmm. 
<laughs> Not necessarily, but it is generally more than enough to get you started. Uh, excuse me. Yes? I think it's freezing in here, don't you? Freezing? Poppycock. Ah, can we get the... Can we get the dentures off? I don't want to. No. I don't think relighting the fire is going to do very much at all. Can we open up the suggestion box? I'd rather not. So the only things that Hoagie's not holding right now are the crowbar, the tape, the bank book, coffee. I really don't think there are any open threads in the present day that that crowbar would do much for, for us, you know? What could the crowbar give us in the present day? I mean, we've already used the crowbar, so it's not actually terribly helpful. Now, I feel like I'm spinning my wheels here, guys. I think I might need to have a slightly pointier hint. Because I'm not really sure what direction to take this. Yeah, try and think of something small. All right, all right. I mean, would getting those guys out of the room again do anything for me? I don't know, maybe it would. I've spoken before about wanting to, like, mess with the Constitution here. Whoa, it's filling up fast. Whoa, it's filling up fast. And being able to... I don't think that would look better white. No, see, I don't think I'm using that. What's left of the human show? Just best smile. We've done best hair, we've done best laugh. So just best smile. Uh, we've got Harold out of the competition as well. So, we either need to get the other contestants out of the competition, because it's the blonde one at the back that has the good smile. Um, either get the other contestants out of the competition, which may be to do with getting the skunk cat through the window somehow, because the skunk cat is sitting on top of the porch. Yeah, so we've got we've got these windows here, which we can get to the opposite side of. Have I seen any potential good smiles anywhere? So the only two I can think of are the horse, who has a pair of dentures, and I've not used the horse yet for anything, and George Washington. Um, George Washington, we've obviously already used the dentures to convince the other founding fathers that he's cold to light the fire and so on. But the horse we've not used. Hi. Hi there. Still trying to get back to the future? <laughs> Laughed at by a horse. Whoa. I mean, he's got a he's got a stable door, but it's not, it doesn't appear to be an interactable object. <laughs> My only two leads are the horse and George Washington. That's true. 
I, I mean, obviously this predates the movie, but um, uh, I was really hoping there'd be a national treasure reference in being able to steal the Declaration of Independence, um, which I believe is different to the Constitution, and with apologies to all of my uh, American audience. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I believe the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution are two different documents. But um, but still, it would still be an, an opportune moment for a national treasure reference. I don't got nothing to prove. You don't got nothing to prove. Push I the horse! I don't got nothing to prove. Push the horse over. I can't open it. Mm, no. Like the the door, I can't open. Yeah, it, it's it's just the horse. Bavel Bella in the chat. Hello, hello. Happy Monday to you. Is the horse sleepy? Is the horse sleepy? Oh, because he puts his dentures in the glass. Yeah, when he goes to bed, he'll put his dentures in the glass, won't he? I gotta stop hitting my. I gotta stop hitting my microphone. I've really gotta stop doing that. Okay. Yes, when he goes to bed, he'll put his dentures in the glass to go to sleep. Makes perfect sense. How do we get him to be sleepy? We could cover his eyes with a blanket. Maybe. I mean, we could nab that blanket back off... Uh, back off Hancock. Hmm. Yo. Please, let me suffer in peace. Yo, Tom. Hey, Tom. Thomas. Uh... How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge and take heed. Uh-huh. But... How goes the framing of the Constitution? Great! George's suggestion about the vacuum cleaners really got the old creative juices flowing! Mm -hmm. We've just finished up Amendment 425, Oof. which prohibits spelunking on alternate Thursdays. I hope they've got a good editor. Yeah, an editor equipped with some garden shears. But, uh... Yeah. Later, bro. Don't need to ask about the time capsule. What? We're sorted What's on going that. to happen later? Yo. Please let me suffer in peace. Okay. Doesn't seem like we can get the blanket back off him. And we can't get the coffee. We can't get the coffee into the past. Definitely not, because even if there was a weird icebox or dryer style trick, it's not um, going backwards in time. I can't open it. Re examine the items in the inventory. We certainly can. Bitch. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. I bet this would work better than a sleeping pill. <gasps> oh, of course. Okay. Well, he's a talking horse. Can he read, though? <laughs> oh, dear. You guys give the best hints. The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. 
If the elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa. Brilliant. Well, there we go. Off to the future with you. That is terrifying. <laughs> hey, don't you think you should judge best smile again? Oh, all right. <laughs> you didn't know the description was that blatant. Still, at least it was a fair puzzle. The signposts were there. I would agree. I would agree. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Agreed. Hooray! Well, that makes him best of show. Let's go congratulate I should have still got best of show winning two out of three. He is very well preserved. I'll miss his laugh. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Yes, our work here is done. It's an honor just to compete, but winning is better. We won the human contest. Well, Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my... <sighs> Favorite Edison. Aww. Dinner for two at Club Tentacle. Dang, it says tentacles only. Well, we're now going to head back and give that to the well, guard. Uh, whatever your name is, how goes our secret plan? Just fine, sir. Ah, excellent. <laughs> It's a good idea to look at inventory items on the regular anyway. I think that's uh, I think that's pretty sound advice to be fair. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the this is our first adventure game that we're playing. I mean, we've played we played Quern which has items in it, but the items don't really have item descriptions in the same way. So I think if we are going to play more LucasArts games, it will be beneficial to try and yeah dial into um, some of the standard ways the puzzles are formulated like that. You want to do a website where anyone could go where they need some help on any puzzle game. You know you could go there and get pre-written hints of various levels, hints to help you think about it differently, slight nudge in the right direction, getting some limits on the searching zone, all these kinds of good stuff. That way, no matter what, you can get proof red help the way you need it. I think that sounds like a really good idea, you know? Um, and I'm sure you would not have any shortage of contributors, because I think people quite like hint writing, you know? You can't really generalize hints, they're mostly based on the current situation. Um, for a non-linear game like this, it would be hard because, like, you might need the user to input some amount of information to be able to point them in the right direction. Like, you know, asking for a hint about, like, what the horse is for, for example, I don't know. Um, for more linear games, I think you could construct a little bit more easily. So, Obsidian, for example, which I really enjoy, and we're very, very close to the end of that now, we must be, um, is very linear in its structure. You, you basically have to do the puzzles in order. There's a couple puzzles that you can do out of order, but it's, it's broadly, it's just in order. And that you could 
construct good hints for. Hmm. If they didn't find the item, telling them to look at their inventory would lead nowhere. Yeah, I mean, the book comes from... Where did, where did we get the book from? I actually don't remember. Someone's beaten us to it. There is the universal hint system, which gives increasingly less vague hints. There we go. Whoa! Dinner for two at Club Tentacle? I can't wait to tell my wife. Excellent. I mean, that being said, just because something already exists doesn't mean you should be discouraged from, like, fiddling around with it, you know, for your own edification, right? Um, one of the... Um, now, admittedly, I'd never heard of Camel, Camel, Camel at the time, but um, one of the things that I... Ah, oh, this was about ten years ago. I was thinking about was wouldn't it be great if there was a website where you could effectively set buy orders on your Amazon wish list for when your wish list price reached a target price, right? And um, I basically I, I wrote it up in VBA because. Excel is incredibly straightforward to scrape web pages for. If you if you basically just point Excel towards a website, you just scrape a load of data off the web page. Amazon wish lists, if they're public, um, the prices happen to be the only part of the page that's formatted as a number. So all you have to do is scrape your Amazon wish list in Excel find all of the numbers, work out which number corresponds to which item, and then you can basically get Excel to email you when the item drops below a certain price. And I spent a week writing that, and I thought it was great fun. It was just a nice little side project. Um, and then I found out about Camel Camel Camel, which is basically a website that does exactly that. Um, but then again, you know, it's no problem, you know, because I wasn't, I wasn't probably going to sell it anyway, to be fair. <laughs> Let's push the switch. You're free. Free to do what? Free to, to run wild through the woods like humans should. Big yeah, get out of here. I said you're free. Now get off your fat, lazy butts and start enjoying it. Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustached old tentacle with a big net. If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail. Yeah, if good. If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. <laughs> the woods are filled with wild animals, lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. What a hint, eh? Okay, fair enough. 500 games. <laughs> Did I get the hump? Oh, well, here I go out the door. Oh, I do so enjoy these freedoms that my forefathers <laughs> fought and died for. Give it up. Sheesh. Come on, we've got to go get the skunk. Somehow. Or we steal the thing. We've still got the trophy. I wonder what the I trophy... I don't think so. I don't... Ooh... Hmm. Okay, so we've got the cat. Now this isn't the roof. The roof is is up, right? Um, now I was thinking we could get the rope onto the pulley to get down onto this section of roof, but I don't think that's going to work because we lost the rope. Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. That's weird. We can't even uh, pick it up. I don't think I can put that in no, the Chronogon. No, okay, that can't go through time. Okay. And given that it's already as far in the future as it possibly can go, it's not going to be used for anything else. Right. We need to get the skunk into the kennel. 
なあ。I feel like it's gotta be the squeaky cat toy. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I got it was a, I got that it was a camel pun. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's well let's have a look at our items, you know, as we were before. Bitchin'. Right, no. It's full of、that. soapy water.、Mm. I hope this wasn't used in the outhouses. Bitchin'. All right, paint. Actually, I call this more of a threek. A threek. Oh dear. I tell you what.、Uh, three tined forks. Pretty out of fashion nowadays, but I I quite like them. I quite like a three-tined fork. It it feels nicely old-fashioned. It looks almost real. It must be Nads, or is it Jads? Whoa, pre-chewed. I saw one of these when I was a kid. What a funnel! I'm not sure how to use this thing. Not sure how to use a funnel. Okay. Neat. Wow, Doctor Fred's rich.、Hmm, well, he is now. Brown water. I think I could lubricate my car with this stuff. It's got Fred opening the safe on it. I think I could lubricate my car with this stuff. Really? Okay. I mean, there is a car out in the、uh, out in the front. Which,、uh, which the、um, burglar has long since. Hmm. I don't know. It's powerful stuff. Hmm. I don't know. It's powerful stuff. No. Yeah. Okay. Oh, windshield. Someone wrote "Wash me in the dust." Some people think that. Washing one's vehicle will make it rain. Yeah, sure, sure. Well, we've already we've already used that.、Hmm, I don't know. It's powerful stuff. I think I could lubricate my car with this stuff. What a weird clue. Okay, probably not car. Probably not actually car related then. But we'll、um, bear that one. We'll try and bear that、It's、one in mind in case、um, we do need some lubricant somehow. I wish I had some formaldehyde. Why? Ooh. What usually squeaks? Oh blimey! What usually squeaks? I mean, real mice do. The hamster probably would, but we're not going to get him to the past. The developers got a.、Um, a chair wheel squeaks. A squeaky wheel. <laughs> Dark flow remembers. It's one of those pulley things. What usually squeaks? I don't think anything that I'm currently holding. Well, except maybe the hamster. <laughs> It's a hole shaped like me. I'm not proud of it. But there it is. A 
Um, doors often squeak. Neat. Uh, mattress springs squeak. If I open and close this, does the cat gain interest? Lots of stick for the vehicle washing puzzle. However, the hint is there when you just looked at the windscreen. That's one sentence, by the way. Oh, sorry, hang on. What did you say? Oh, the developers got a lot of stick for the vehicle washing puzzle. Um, yeah, we didn't we didn't have too much of a problem with that one because, um, yeah. Although I I do kind of appreciate that. Yeah, if you are unlucky enough to not have examined the car, you'll never get the hint, and if you don't get that hint there's very little logic <laughs> to needing to wash the carriage so um, uh, maybe fair oh, no use use the squeaky mattress Can I use this squeaky mattress? No. Bitcha. Hmm. Hoagie continuing to just try and get me demonetized one observation at a time. It's pretty hinted out. If you look hard enough, the solution will be hidden somewhere. Yeah, I mean, the, the windscreen literally saying wash me does give you a strong indication of, like, a thing to go and look at. Okay. Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? Hmm. Yo, I... Mangy flea bit rat fat and mouse muncher. So he can get the cat to come over by sitting on the bed. I mean, it's pretty unusual to use the same puzzle twice, but like, do these guys need to go upstairs? Thermodynamic flux induction circuit design is perhaps the most fascinating branch of practical electrical theory. Did father send you with that boring science text? Please inform him that we have chosen to pursue the finer pleasures of creating art over the empty life of mad science. Hmm. When induction elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Did Father send you with that boring yeah, science okay, no, text? It's the same. Please same. inform him that um, have chosen to pursue the. I do recall. Well, there used to be back in the day a LucasArts um, hint line, wasn't there? And I believe in the third Monkey Island game, they make an internal reference to that, where inside the game you phone up LucasArts support on a premium rate number to ask for a hint. Which is, um, yeah, a bit of a fourth wall break for sure. I'd rather not. 
I don't wanna. We need something sort of heavy that's going to um I don't Well we think can't so. we can't move I that. don't think can't move that through time. So what are we Use Ned's squeaky mattress with. So we can't just sit on it. Um, I don't think it will fit through. Okay. Maybe the mummy? Hmm. The design's solid, but I need some waterproof material, like cast iron or something. There's an infamous puzzle in Monkey Island 2 that didn't make any sense at all outside the US because they call a spanner a monkey wrench. Oh dear. Yeah, that's not ideal. That would not be respectful. Besides, I might get caught. <laughs> That would Come not on, be it's respectful. necessary. Besides, I might get caught. So I need something heavy and sort of bouncy, right? Something that's going to keep bouncing, ideally. Pushing and pulling the bed's not gonna, gonna do it? anything. No. I don't wanna. Okay, it's not the hammer. It's not gonna be setting it on fire. No, I like it the way it is. And we've already tried the bucket of water, we've already tried the book. Uh I doubt there's Can any money in it. Open the mattress? I'd rather not. To get the springs out of it? No. I doubt we're gonna be able to open it. I with don't a fork. wanna. Ned squeaky mattress. It is weird that one bed is squeaky and the other one is not squeaky. And that one I can use multiple times. But this one I can't. Oh no, I can use Ned's bed. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Right, so it's not a it's not a timing issue. Cats dig. This. Yeah, we, could, we just we cannot get there fast enough. So. I don't wanna. Is there a way to get the cat stuck to the bed? See if ah, oh, do you reckon? Do you reckon talking to Ned and Jed would do anything in this regard? Wow, doesn't even blink. Please do not perturb my model. Sorry, hmm. hope I haven't jostled you. No, 
there's nothing to be uh, Too late. to be discussed. Can we grab the barrel? No way could I pick that up. I can't move it. Uh, okay. The other, the other thing that we need to do at some point is somehow become an employee as well, because we want to get the um, lab coat of Red Edison. Right? This lab coat over here, pretty sure we want that. Um, I think we need to probably give him the vinegar first. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Have I tried the can opener with the time capsule? Have I tried that? I might not have done, you know. Because she did say it's a beaten up old can. Ah, okay, right, cool. So that's cool. So let's take the vinegar. Chateau, oh no, <laughs> make vinegar. Jolly good. Right, so you can give the vinegar to Red. Ah, the final element for my ingenious battery. Mm. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. We've got behind every great man is a quality road. Right, so that's the battery. I'm assuming. Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. Eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? Maybe. I'm very busy. Um. It looks more like a raincoat than a lab coat. Hey. What is it this time? What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? Mm -hmm. What are you inventing? It's a new size independent fastening mechanism based on circular geometry. A belt? What are you inventing? It's a new size independent fastening mechanism based on circular geometry. Okay. Well, see you later. You mind if you cut that hair a bit shorter? It's covered with plans and junk. Can we pick no up anything from the bulletin board? Up. No. Um, it looks more like a so if we try and pick up the hey, lab coat... Only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. So how do I become an employee? Because so I'm assuming I'm going to need that. The other thing is... Okay, so if the, if the textbook was actually to put the horse to sleep. What is it that Benjamin Franklin needs? Pause. Sorry, can't talk. Busy making history. I mean, can I just give him the battery? That doesn't need a battery. No. So what he says with the textbook... You want to borrow this great book? Is it lightweight and waterproof? Uh, no. Then I have no use for it. Oh, 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 no, he's not asking for the book to be made lightweight and waterproof. He wants the lab coat. He wants the waterproof lab coat. So we need to, we need to swipe that somehow. Uh, 
Okay. Employees only. Hmm. So we need to pretend to be an employee somehow. There's no fire there. Can I use a... Uh... Hey, it's not a toy. No, fine. So I can't restart the fire that way. And there's not really much going on out here. Maybe we need to give him a belt. Ha, huh, okay. But maybe that's maybe we're going to get that somehow later. Maybe we'll get that somehow later. I think maybe we need the cat first. Right, there's nothing else up here. Ah. Let's talk to the um, humans in the kennel again. Because they've also got a deck of cards that will probably be useful to swipe somehow. But it feels like we're very, very close now, right? Because we've got... If we can get the skunk off the roof, the humans will flee from the kennel and the human catcher will go after them, leading us into the basement where we can power the chronogen from. In the past, we've already got the battery, so all we need is the raincoat to give to Ben Franklin. And in the present, we've already got the diamond, so I think that's it. And and I think that's that's game at that point, right? Dagger Steve says, I'm honestly surprised you don't have the item you need. Oh, no. I'm not sure what to make of that. <laughs> Zed? I'm tired of talking now. It's been a long day, and I'm only human. Hmm. I think they're both cheating. Probably Mark. So we're missing an item. Oh, okay. Well, now we're going to have to go on a hunt for, for it, right? This 400-year-old clock is an amusing example of primitive human timekeeping. It's a tricky one to find, although that's not very accurate to the situation. Oh, blimey. What a shabby paint job. It's not that tricky to find. Okay. Oh, blimey.
behind me. Right, okay. Well, I mean, none of the environments are terribly large, so let's just have a quick look around, right? So we've got a bulletin board here, which we've already looked at. Mailbox flag. Bitcha. Woohoo, the Pony Express. Nah, okay. We've already used that. So we fiddled with the carriage already before. So that's where the outhouses are, and this is where Ben Franklin hangs out. I mean, let's check out the outhouses quick, because I don't think you can enter any of the outhouses. Ye oldie outhouses. I mean, what we're looking for is we're... It's attached to the chronogon. Uh-huh. Because um, what we're looking for is um, huh. something that'll be, be large enough to put on a mattress that will bounce. Huh. This door appears to be locked. Hmm. So, there's the lock on the suggestion box. We've used the smoke detector already. Yeah, I don't think there's anything over there. We've looked in, we've looked in those back rooms loads of times for things. stolen the soap so I don't think we need to call the maid again so there's the sewing machine but I don't think Betsy Ross is going to um, let us have that I couldn't sleep in here with all the racket mm -hmm. who asked you to <laughs> Yeah. So we've got kite plans, draw. I don't think Grody there's anything man. in there. I don't go through people's underwear. Grody. Nah, there's printer's ink on the sheets. Printer's ink on the sheets? I don't think that would look better white. Okay. And then up here is just the horse and the, uh... Yeah, it's just the horse and the, uh, and the mouse and the cat. We've got the barrel, but we can't move the barrel. And then we've got the chimney. And that's pretty much... So, okay, we've got the pulley, but that's pretty much everything in that time period. Neat! It's permanently attached to the countertop. 
walked a dark passage. Out of order. Boy, the Edisons are a spectacularly ugly family. So we need something fairly large and bouncy. It's covered with unrecognizable, useless junk. And a gun. I don't think the cigar salesman has anything for us. Disgusting. I don't think I can pick that up. Hmm. I do like the joke of <coughs> having put the sweater with uh, a huge number of quarters to get it to run for 200 years. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Well... Out of order. I don't think I can pick that up. Out of order. Hmm. It's permanently fixed to the countertop. I mean, how permanently is permanently, That sounds right? like overkill. Is it overkill, though? So we've already fiddled with the machine there. Fickle fingers coin slot, phone. Infinifactory will be free on Epic Games next week for anyone that wants to play it. Oh, cool, great. Infinifactory's good fun. Hi there. Um, I never got round to completing it. We maybe got um, halfway, something like that. I don't know, hard to say really, but yeah, Infinifactory is good fun. It's one of the uh, Zaktronics games. So similar to uh, Opus Magnum and, um, and that kind of thing. It's pretty small. The item you were referring to was to solve getting the raincoat. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. The item I'm... Right, the item you were hinting at was the raincoat. I see. Sorry. I thought you were hinting that I need an item to be able to get the raincoat. Ah, got it. <laughs> Um, bowling ball. It looks too heavy for me to pick up. No, we want the bowling ball because that would be perfect for... It won't budge. Just roll it. It looks too heavy for me to pick up. No, I don't need one. Okay, I don't need an item to go get the raincoat. Um, ah, oh, shoot. Love is free this week. Cool platformer. Oh, I do need one. I do need one, I do need one. Right, okay. <laughs> right.
Right, okay. I do need an item for the raincoat. You're surprised I don't have it. Ah. I feel like I really want this bowling ball for Ned's bed. Hey. Green tentacles probably What's not up, help Bernard? Me. Um not much actually. Still saving the world and all that. Oh, well good luck then. Hey, good luck to you. All right, yeah, cool. All right. Yeah. I don't think I can do that. Come on. What's the... <sighs> it's pretty small. What's the relevance of the mouse hole? I don't think I can pick that up. No, not the hole itself, but can you, like, reach into it? Initially, I was thinking, oh, one of your party might end up being shrunk. might come back and she scares me yeah looks like the hallway there's no tape in the machine oh no I think no. I broke the butt I think I broke there's no tape in the machine oh no what have I there's done? no tape there's no there's no tape in the machine there's no tape in the machine get out of there right Yes, yeah, we found that on the computer. So that's so what's the maybe something to come back to later. Sufficient credit applications form. You have until midnight on the twelfth working day past the first full moon after the end of your fiscal year. Can I close these guys up here? However, you can extend the date by filing no. the M78 waning interest extension any time before the close of business on the second Tuesday after the first Friday of March. So let's uh, go back into the clock and have a look around here. So we've got the hamster generator, the bulletin board. Dr. Fred, what do we do now? We wait for those buddies of yours to plug in their johns. <sighs> Brilliant hint there, Fred. It's back on now. Is it being on or off important? The fact that we can turn it on and off. I don't think we've tried turning it back on before. like pureed horseshoe crab. Mm-hmm. Reminds me of the last time I had the flu. Okay, does this do anything though? What could it give us? We can't move that into the past anyway. Hoagie's got most of our items. Uh, by this stage, what have we not used? We've used pretty much everything in our inventory. We might not have used the... No, we've used the disappearing ink. We used that on the stamp collection. So, Bozo the Clown, Horse Sleep, Cat, Washing the Carriage, 
The red paint was used for the mummy. The fork on the hair. That's been used, that's been used. The gum hasn't been used. But aside from that, we've basically used everything. Just because someone else has littered this creek doesn't make it okay for me to do the same. <laughs> no, quite right. Quite right. Hmm, I don't know. It's powerful stuff. Decaf wouldn't help there. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so maybe having that thing on's not important. Help wanted. Lab assistant. Hard-working drone needed to assist genius with experiments. High school diploma not required. Can we nick the sign? It's on the other side of the window. Okay. We can we can work on that. Uh Oh Rap Sheep Adventure Gamer. Pick up 45 things that don't belong to you. Well, that seems like a pretty solid explanation for how we're going to convince him to let us work here. <laughs> Chat hype. Okay. Moronic like drone. Get a job. Help wanted moronic drone. Assist genius. Yada yada yada. Well, I'm the only genius around. <laughs> you look dumb enough. Uh. So pick up your lab coat and get to work. Excellent. Excellent. Right. Now we can go to Ben Franklin, who is in this room over here. It looks kind of small for me. I got something good for you, mister. Uh, mister? Mr. Brainstorm? Yes, hand it over. Hmm, doesn't this belong to somebody? <laughs> yeah, Red Edison. Nah, it belongs ah. to me. I'm sorry, but the man has no vision. A lightweight, durable fabric like this going to waste down in his basement. When I'm done with it, it will fly. Hmm. Eureka! The all-season Francocopter, ready to make history. Excellent. No, there's no fuse. So, what do I light? For the last time, you're not going to light anything. You just push it. The whole time? How am I going to get up that high? Listen, just wait for me to say the word now. Then push the kite into the air, all right? I'm on you, lasagna. Let's hope so. Okay, push. Now! Yay! We... We did a thing. Look at her go! Now all we need is a little... So what happened after I fainted? <laughs> well, after the lightning hit the kite, it came crashing down on your head. The lightning? No, the kite. Drat! What do you think we should do? Um... Well, oh, right, okay. Try, no, try yeah, no, again. try again, try That's again. The spirit. Let's try and hook the battery up to the kite. There we go. Now, push. 
Push kite. She's handling kind of funny. You got it. Just hang on there. 88 miles an hour, right? I can't control her. Hang on, Ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. She's breaking up. Run for your life. Now that was interesting. Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my <laughs> lab in Philly right now so I can study the results. No. Wish me luck. Oh, wait, no, there's the battery. Anyway. I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. Okay, we now have a fully charged battery. So, possibly straightforward enough there. We plug the battery into the plug, and boom. Hoagie's Chronogon wow. ready to go. Now, I think all we need is the squeaky cat toy. Right? I think all we need is a squeaky cat toy, which is still Hoagie, of course. So how do we get the squeaky cat toy? The bowling ball feels like the best bet to be able to put on a bed and have it bounce. Oh, thank you very much, Dagger Steve. Enjoy the last section of the game. Hopefully you'll pop back for future adventures you play. Thank you very much for the follow. Um, and uh, yeah, I ho hope to see you in a future stream. Um, check out the YouTube as well. We've got loads of games up there and, uh, and that's where we uh, will be putting these streams as well. Okay. bowling ball if I have coffee come on just drink it just drink it hmm I don't know it's powerful stuff hmm it does feel like we're nearly there with this game doesn't it it, it almost feels like if we get the squeaky toy to get the skunk to get the tentacle chaser away that will hook up the chromatrons maybe that's the end of the game we just need the squeaky cat toy if you need any help you've got a good one come on dark flow hit me hit me with it hit me with it It won't budge. It won't budge. Can I use the crowbar? I'm not so sure that's a good idea. I feel like it's got to be the bowling ball, right? What? Hmm. The trophy can't travel in time. So that's no good. I've got everything I need on me. I've got everything I need. Okay. If we use Ned's bed... The cat comes over here. Like, my only thinking is, like, we stick the cat somehow. Which... 
totally feels like it could be the gum, but it's... Because the water gum with the cat, that doesn't do anything. What a cat with the water gum I don't want to. I don't wanna. Doesn't really do anything. Where am I gonna put it? Like, if you could swap these two mattresses around, that would be... Where am I gonna put it? Handy. Where am I gonna put it? Because then the cat would have further to walk. Very Spartan. The uh, the toasty warm hamster also needs to factor in somehow as well, doesn't it? Like maybe that's going to be powering the device in the future, potentially. Use it with the floor at all that the cat's around. Yo, I. The fact that it says use Ned's squeaky mattress with. I don't wanna makes me think the solution is to put an item onto the squeaky mattress. I doubt there's any money in it. So we've already tried to count. I don't that. think that would look better. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Like, if, it's, if it's something that I already nah, have. I like it the way it is. I don't wanna. Not funny enough. Not hey, funny enough. Hey, it's not enough. a toy. I don't wanna. We've tried the gun I don't already. Wanna. He doesn't want to do a lot of things. I'm not sure how to use this thing. He's not sure how to use a funnel. So it's not using one of my items with the mattress. It's a bit tricky, isn't it? Mm. So, Dark Flow, when you said if you need any help, you've got a good one. I'm assuming the good one you you mean is not um, that I've got everything I need on me. I'm assuming you've got a good hint in the uh, in your back pocket there. We've used a lot of hints this episode, but we're very close to the end of the game. That would honestly be the worst one in the game, I'd say. It's not. It's not bad, you. It's kind of iffy. You can tell you something else, but that was my good one. Oh, okay, okay. Right, right, right. For now, you've got all you need on you.
That would honestly be the worst one in the game. It's not bad, you. It's kind of iffy. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you meant bad buttets. Uh, it's not bad. Oh, it's not bad, but it's kind of iffy. Hang on, I think I think I'm confused. I think I'm confused as to which line was the hint. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> which one was the hint? surprised I'm really surprised that it's not the gun I don't want to like stick the stick the cat to the bed I don't want to Oh you haven't given me your second hint okay go on give give me your second hint give me your second hint The first hint is that I've got everything already, for now at least. Okay, I understand, I understand. What specifically is making the noise? It'd be a spring. It'd be a spring inside the mattress. I can't open it. But we can't open it. I doubt there's any money in it. And he's refusing to I'd open rather it not. things. <sighs> oh, you didn't expect that answer. <laughs> Hey, we have souffle in the chat. Hello, hello. How are you this evening? Uh, for anyone who's not familiar, souffle is uh, the channel artist. Um, she is available for commissions and she is responsible for the emotes on the channel. So. Thanks very much for those, Souffle. You're not sure if you're hungry or not. My advice would always be assume you are and have something to eat, and if it turned out you weren't, then not really any harm done. Right? Ah, this one's kind of hard to hint towards. Because what you're having trouble with isn't really the logic of the puzzle. Oh no. I already kind of figured it out. Oh. But how is that? How is spring term treating you, Souffle? Keeping busy? Squeaky mouse toy. 
can't... Oh! I can use Squeaky Mouse toy. I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can do hmm. that. Okay. Where am I gonna put it? So we Where can't gonna put it? push or pull it. I can't open it. And we can't open it. We can use it. Where am I gonna put it? Can't give the bed to the cat. That doesn't make any sense. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I genuinely don't get it. Enjoying what you're doing so far, but still very busy. Yeah. That sound that sounds about right, doesn't it? <laughs> Mangy bleepin' rat bat and mouse muncher. Cats dig these. Bitcha. Jack WK in the chat. Henlo to you too. I want to be interacting with the mattress more than the bed for now. Alpico resubscribe. That's the four month resubscribe. Thank you very much for that subscription, Alpico. Ritual Prime Sub 07. Good to see you guys. It's it's Souffle Silly Crew in the chat. I think that's the name of the server, right? Is it Souffle's... Souffle Silly Gang. Souffle Silly Gang. <laughs> you are not silly, you are very smart. Very smart. I do not... Do, I do not doubt it. I do not doubt it. So... Use the squeaky mattress. I don't wanna. But we can't use any of the items. Right. Push Where am I the gonna squeaky put mattress. It? Where am I gonna put it? You guys have arrived in the stream just at the the critical pivotal moment of us getting stuck trying to interact with this one specific object. Where am I gonna put it? <laughs> this is this is the high octane adrenaline filled um I don't want you know gameplay that I, I know open. you guys crave the answer is 42 oh dear oh dear he is lying also known as boyfriend and best friend well you can be both indeed you can um this is easy, the answer is I'm shaking. The adrenaline is too much. <laughs> yes. I think, I think, uh, yes. Best friend plus partner. Very good combination, right? You know, I think, um, you know, with my wife, for example, it's, you know, my wife is my best friend as well. We have all sorts of fun together. Now, I don't think any of the items... Oh, sorry! Jack WK is best friend, Alpico's boyfriend. But Alpico is also my bestest friend. Okay. Gradually, gradually piecing it together. Gradually piecing it together. Come on. I doubt there's any money in it. <laughs> she yells at me. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> well, I mean, 
mean, you know, you got you got to occasionally get a little bit yelled at, right? You know, perfect, perfectly natural. The new emotes are great. I love them. I love them. So, um, so we've got Team Leaf, which is um, a follower emote. Hang on. Oh, maybe it's not come through yet. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, do you know what? I have a feeling that it's not come through yet, actually. Oh no, you do have it. Where is it? Why don't I see it on my list? <laughs> Might have to fix the text on the hammer. It's a little bit hard to read. Yeah, maybe, maybe. It's clear it's a hammer though, which is, uh, which is... If that's okay. I mean, absolutely. Absolutely no, please. Um, you know, do do have a, another iteration on it. But no, I th I think they I think they look absolutely great. Um, I love I love Team Leaf particularly. I think it's a great way to um, you know shout out to all of those guys in Canada who set their alarms for an absurd time in the morning to watch me stream on Sunday mornings. Um, it's really appreciated. The heart you can't type. The heart you can't type. What does the heart say? There it is. Yeah. Yeah, well, I've I've also moved the uh, the two that I had on tier two and tier three. I've just moved them all into tier one because I've got enough I've got enough slots now, so they're all in uh, they're all in tier one. Oh, you need to give some bits to unlock it. Oh, did I put one in the bits? Oh, I shall move that. I shall move that. Oh, heart is heart is bits. Right, right, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, I'll move that over to a tier one reward because I think I have enough slots now for the whole for the whole set. Because when you first get affiliate, you only get five emote slots. So, um, but now that I've been doing more months as affiliate, I've unlocked more slots, which is great. But it kind of seems like tier two and tier three are like they're incredibly expensive, actually. So I, I can't imagine very many people go for. What? No! Jack WK gifted a tier 2 sub to Souffle. Oh, what? <laughs> well, congratulations on being my first ever tier 2 subscriber, Souffle. Um, wow. Uh, I mean, I was just saying, like, they, they seem quite rare because they are, they are quite expensive. Um, but no, thanks for that. That's amazing. Okay. The YouTube comment section is going to yell at me. It's going to yell at me, but... Dark Flow, I think, I think you got to, I think you got to give me something more obvious as a hint. Like, we've tried every single one of our items which we can send to the past we've tried interacting with the mattress and with the bed and i don't think i can use I the mouse toy with the squeaky mattress and i don't think i can use the squeaky mattress with the I cat i don't think i can do that it's pretty fair to ask fair enough I mean, we are we are a, we are a touch stuck. We are a touch stuck. You've got everything. You just need to interact with the bed in a certain way. You need to interact with the bed in a certain way.
You make sure to update the band text before you send it over. You need to use the mattress with something else that's in the room. like the cat's caught a moose up there. A moose. <laughs> so that's how you swap the mattresses. Right, so now when we use the mattress, now we're going to have time to go and pick up the thing. Ah, oh, do you know what? No, I'm, I'm glad you told me that one, Dark, Dark Flow, because you're absolutely right. We did kind of know that it involved swapping the mattresses. But, like, he wouldn't pick them up, and he wouldn't push them, and he wouldn't... Yeah... I... I agree, I'm not a... Okay, never mind. What's done is done. Mouse to Laverne. I tell you what, though, oh, do we have time? Do we have time to finish this off? Let's have a little look. So, we use the mouse toy on the skunk. Well, what do we have here? Looks like a prosthetic rodent. Another specimen. Oh shoot, we literally just have the cat now. <laughs> oh. So, I tell you where I'm up to with the uh with the Oh well actually, oh no 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 no. I'll leave that a secret because I want I want that to be a surprise for for everyone on the on the YouTube channel. But, uh, but Souffle, I'll give you a, a, an update on that topic we were discussing um, uh, art-wise the, uh, the other day um, uh, over on the Discord. But, um, but yeah, just challenges continue. But I've been reading a lot about intellectual property infringement, let's say. And exactly where the dividing line between parody and satire is. Because apparently, really not obvious. Hey, look, a skunk. Always a joyous reading experience. Yes, quite right. It's like where, where, where exactly is the line where um, you know what, what you can get away with on the internet these days? Who says you can't learn anything from cartoons, eh, kitty? <laughs> okay. So... So they've all escaped, so I can go into the clock now. Great. Now, what is in here? We have the extension cord. So use the extension cord with the outlet. Jack WK is the business friend you mentioned. No, that's great. Um, what does the shop vac need to do? So the toasty warm hamster can work the generator. What this? <laughs> oh, I see. Well, let's uh, use the shop vac with the mouse hole. Yeah, it's kind of like um, the previous conversations we've had around fair use and um, and video game music, right? Pick up dust ball <laughs> because um, you know 
Video game music is obviously copyright. Well? Come on, let's go! Um, Look at that sucker go! Having that in he background as part of a let's play. And running and running. Strictly speaking, by my reading, doesn't necessarily constitute fair use. Oh, is that it? So it's time to throw the switch. Great. Hoagie. I'm so happy to. Hi, Laverne. Wow. I'm so glad you two made it back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the Sledgeomatic! Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Say what? Now hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, <laughs> and I think... Ha-ha! <laughs> you can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Oh no! Uh oh! Don't worry, guys. This time I know I can stop him. Uh oh! I guess we better do something. Let's yep. go. Here we go. No, Level two. Wait. You can't all go in the same stall. Didn't you see the fly? <laughs> There we go. Oh shoot, we literally are Brundlefly. We're... We're... We're some kind of monster, dudes. Great. Stuck yeah, tutorial here the rest complete. of my life, listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now, wait just a minute. It's purple tentacle! It's green tentacle. What was that green? Purple tentacle behind you! What? Oh, I come believe on. he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. We're going to turn off the sludge matic and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for All me. you need to do but is, after you've beat Purple Tentacle, well, go back of. in time and set up a trap for him right I here, to a la Bill and Ted. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. Ugh. Yikes. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chrono Jar. Together, we will conquer the world. You tend there. Go to the basement and guard the sludge -omatic. gonna get small <laughs> all right the rest of you come with me next stop the world I kind of thought that this what do would we have... do now I kind of thought that this would Whoa. end the game it wears off it might not be the case I don't know Aha. run for it Damn. The battery must not have had time to recharge, but it will. Shh, maybe he won't find us. <laughs> 
Well, what if you leave you, the door open? Where are you, human? And just stand in the middle of the room. Oh shoot. Right. We're still we're still in the game. So there we go. Well, my friends. I'm afraid we're out of time for this week, right? Surely there's not going to be very much more of this game left to go. So we might be having a very, very quick episode next week. Um, unless, uh, unless Dark Flow, unless you say that, uh, you know, there's literally like two minutes left of the game or something. But I'm assuming there is a little bit more to this. Um... Okay, great stuff. Yeah, good progress today. We took a lot of hints today, but that's okay. You know, it's it's that kind of game, I think, really. 48, 48 hour stream when I don't think my health would be able to stand up to the, <laughs> the demands of a 48 hour stream, to be honest. I, I can manage around about, I can manage a, this is about as long a stream as I can do, like seven till um, seven till ten ish, like a two and a half hour stream. That's that's pretty much my limit. <laughs> um, who should we go and raid, everyone? Who should we go and raid? Does anyone have uh, anyone online that they would recommend right now? Um, I should say goodbye to YouTube in the future, absolutely. If you are watching on YouTube in the future, thank you very much for watching today. I hope to see you soon. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you for the next episode of Day of the Tentacle next time out. Have a great week. Bye for now. Uh, for those of us on Twitch, let's go and raid JR. Okay, here we go.